Alright guys, welcome to today's video. It's an Among Us video. We're going to be doing the top tips on Imposter and Roommate. Top 25 tips. By, by top, I mean all that I can think of. So anyway, let's get into the first tip. If you, Here's tip number one. If you and your teammate have just done a double kill, um, the other teammates are about to find it and they're probably going to uh, uh, vote you off. So, you're going gonna, gonna to either vent away. So, I probably wouldn't recommend doing this because I can see there's loads of people over there. And then, in case of calm, check that that light's not blinking, uh, and then you can vent out, or, there's another option to do this. You go over and call an emergency meeting, and then you can say, uh, I don't know, just make something up, like, um, pink, did you fake admin card swipe? And then, obviously, you have to throw an imposter to, and then you, uh, go over, ask your other teammate to say, uh, something like, no, I'm just good at it. Then all the other guys will believe it. Then you just the person who called me and I'll say just skip guys. And then as you can see uh, everyone skips because you know they'll listen to this. And everyone skips. By the way, if you're wondering, these are all just me on different I just uploaded the app seven times. Okay. Um oh yeah, the owner's gotta do that. Right, so let's say you know you're the imposter and you just say vented from electrical and you go out and kill someone and it's on cams so then obviously the person in cams will obviously go and try to report it so you've got to lock security and then go back into medbay uh, or whichever room it is but in any way just get to security go over there kill him uh, and then vent over to electrical or medbay but then I'd recommend actually you know turn off lights whilst doing this just so you know they can't see you like going through electrical so you just walk out like this Right, so here's another one. If lights are off, never be the first there because you're bound to be the one to get killed. <laughs> so if you look at your tasks, you might see <clears throat> some of them. Like here's one for example: the visual tasks, right? So you can get shields, which is uh, so you always make sure that somebody's with you when you've got a task like this. I'll tell you the list of tasks in a minute, but you just look at these two bars here. As you can see, they light up when you've done the task. So that is one good way to tell if somebody is an is not an imposter. Here's another tip, never be the first one, in, well not, not the first one, but uh, <coughs> actually there's two tips in one here. So first of all, uh, never go into electrical when there's only you and somebody else, uh, depending on how many imposters there are. Uh, but uh, never be the first one in, uh, in, uh, in electrical, and if uh, if the game's just started, don't go to electrical because uh, imposters only have 10 second cooldown. So you know, you're most likely to get murdered. As an imposter, always lock the doors and vent away uh, before you uh, actually go there and kill kill a person, because otherwise someone will find the body and immediately go blame you. Right, so say if uh, you just found this, like uh, I have just done, and then you know someone just did the same. So in that case, uh, if you leave. A crewmate, then what you're gonna want to do is say, uh, pink, then me, and then if everyone votes pink, uh, and it, if it's not pink, they'll vote you off. But if it's pink, then they won't vote you off. So as you can see, uh, pink has just been voted out, and when it'll say Apple Three was the imposter, uh, then they will believe you, and no one will vote you off. So let's say the game's just started. If you see anyone doing standing here and doing a task, this is the admin upload data task, and you can't upload the data until you downloaded it. So if this is the first task they do, they're the imposter. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to call them in a emergency meeting and say, uh, in my case, it's yellow. So here's another imposter trick. Call me once the crewmate ones later. But uh, so say if you want to get some kills, you know, you know how to kill the whole game. <coughs> what you're going to do? Sabotage uh, communications. This might seem pretty useless to you, but all you've got to do is walk over here, and then go in. Don't fix it because, well, to be honest, you fix it by just dragging that along like that. So, uh, what you do? Oh, okay, I've fixed it. Oops. But what what you intentionally do? So then, say you and your teammate get a double kill here in comms. Uh, well, not exactly double kill, but you just kill it here whilst everyone else wouldn't see it because they're obviously doing comms. Then you'd report it and say, stack killing comms. 
stack kill in comes and then we'll all believe you and we'll just skip <coughs> so here you can see there's two people in here you know blue's watching green scan even though uh, green isn't scanning so it could be fake tasking you never know so what you could do you can make them both think each other is us by locking the medbay doors if you're a dead if you're a ghost as an imposter so then uh, blue will think green sus and green will think blue sus so if you're, if you're in med base scanning, say green just called a meeting to say that uh, I've got a scan who wanna watch and then blue goes over here and watches. If they think that they're faking it, first of all think why well, would just everyone to go to a place if you're just gonna fake the task? So th keep that in your mind and also think is our think uh our visual tasks on or off? So before you go over and call a meeting and accuse them, it take a few seconds to think uh our visuals on. And just get yeah, to think before you call the manage meeting because then people find useless if they're not the imposter. So, say there's three people in a room, as you can see, there's three people in Medbay. So, what you'd want to do is you just sabotage and then you sabotage lights so they can't see anything. And then you vent, and then you go over here, and then you just get a bit of distance, kill one of them, run away, and then vent back again. And then what will happen is pink will think it's green, and green will think it's pink. Because you know they didn't see anything at all, so they'll get some to be each other, and then you get a bit of war going on. Well, see there. So if you're a crewmate and you've just found a body, don't spend forever looking around at things. Otherwise, someone else might report it and think that it's you. Because you know then, otherwise they'll think uh, that it's you, and then you'll lose. So uh, tr just make sure the other person sees that it wasn't you who killed. Otherwise, you might get voted off when you don't want to be. So if, you, so if you're just standing there, you know, and you know, you're th and then you're a crewmate like these people, uh, or you'll think it's just one person there, but actually there's more people by the letters in the names. So then you killed one of them, and then you realise, oh no, there's more of them, and then you know you're gonna be like, oh no, oh no, what is it? And then the, the this person here, then there's another person there actually as well behind him. And then like they can actually, they, then you can see it, and then you see you killed, and then you can win the game by voting them off. Alright, so say if uh, you know you see a body here, uh, and then it's obviously going to be pink and blue because none of them are reporting. Also keep in mind that they could be AFK, that's not really a tip, but yeah, I don't know even know why I made this as a tip, I'm just running out of ideas at the moment. This is a time saving trick for crew mates. So most people, when we've got the stabilised steering task, you just drag it over. But there's a quick way to do it, you just click in the middle, and it's done. Simple as that. So then you're gonna, you're gonna have to keep in mind how long it takes to download or upload a task because then you could think about just count safe I think it takes about nine seconds usually uh, as you can sort of the timer then I'm pretty sure it's nine seconds but in the, what you'd want to do is you want to check for someone who takes less time than that then that could be a possible imposter you never know all right here's a tip for imposters again so before you went into a room always check if there are any people in there but you could be lucky because the, the other person in there might be doing a download or upload a, down, a download or the other task there so they could be doing a task you've got to be really careful you don't vent into a room with two people in it otherwise that'll end up in uh, you getting voted off which is never good if you're having trouble with this little task here uh, you know if it goes around too quick and you just can't do it you know it's really really hard so then you're just going to want to wait a few seconds you know have a little relax take a drink or something then as you can see it goes slower and slower so then you know eventually you can just stop it and then that goes fast and fast and fast then you just wait a few seconds and it'll go slower so then it's an easy way to complete this task it's actually kind of possible to cover a body with your own body if you get what I mean um, but if this does end up happening then uh, and then you end up seeing it you're just gonna end them too and then run away into another room Here's another tip, this one's kind of crewmates and imposters. So if a crewmate, so as you can see, if we just do this again, uh, if you come from the left of the room, you face right. If you come from, from the right of the room, you'll face left. So then if you're on cams, which you're just in there, then you notice someone walking out of a room like that, that's a possible imposter. But then if you see them walking from this way, they're probably not. But we, if you're an imposter, you can have to be smart, because if you just uh, vent it out, you could walk over there, then walk out. 
and then people won't get sus sussy, but don't just do what I just did and face the other way. You've got to face that way. Then they'll kind of not think it's you. It's always good to keep a vent map in your head, just so you know uh, where a actual, you know, where people could have vented to. So, for example, there's one that goes from upper engine to reactor, and then you'd have to walk over here and go to, from reactor to lower engine. So that's um, like so then that'll be set up for uh, uh, vents there. Then there's the second little thing of them, which is cams, which go to med bay and electrical. And then there's another set of them, and which is just up here, which is the admin to the navigation pathway and cafeteria. But I wonder any cafeteria because everyone in cafeteria can see it. We just have to end their lives. So say if you're, uh, you know, just going into a room with no vent like this, never not watch yourself in there and kill the other person because you can't vent out. And there's a pretty high chance of there being other people either in the room or outside the room. So once the door's open, they'll see you. And they'll vote you off. And you don't have many people to vouch for you because uh, two of them, these two, will just vote for you. And then uh, it, they pretty much be ha what people believe. But obviously, I'm pretty sure your imposter mate would vote for you. So the game just started. You can, actually, you can actually click on the screen at the shush animation. You click on the screen there, it can actually skip your head so you get in before all the other players can get to be able to get a couple of tasks or what probably one task done. Uh, before everyone starts rushing around and killing and things. Right, so say that this happens where uh, so there's so then everyone said that for example orange shield in front of me. So now everyone's gonna vote off orange. Apart from and then Orange obviously voted off the reporter, well, the other person, which is Lime. That's who they obviously blamed. And then Red has too. So, and then Red had to in the chat. So Red could, if uh, Orange is an imposter, Red is probably an imposter as well. Um, just because somebody says that they've got a scan and if they want to watch, uh, they're not sus. If there's somebody raging in the chat, if somebody says that they're sus, then it's probably them, uh, because they're raging. Also, tip for crewmates, don't rage. If someone is blaming somebody else, then they're not agreeing to uh, them, then red, then these people are probably the imposter because they're not agreeing to it, because they've got nothing, because they, uh, they'll only take that if they've got nothing to lose. But imposters do have something to lose, which is their imposter title. Never sabotage while stood still. Never mind, someone called a meeting. So if everyone's now arguing saying it's black and then black saying it's orange, just go along with it, then you'll get an easy win. Never stand still while sabotaging. Always just keep moving, no matter what you're doing, just keep moving and then sabotage something like O2. Then always do the O2, or at least try to do the O2, or if not, just murder him, and then vent away and hope that nobody sees you. So as you can see, um, I was just caught. Uh, so then if you just go over it, and <laughs> I got reported, but my teammate saved me there and killed the other person. So there's two tips there: don't kill in front of people, and also. Um, yeah, don't kill in front of people. That's probably a good thing to do. And always stand, not, and don't stand still while well, sabotaging. Two tips in one there. Okay, so this is the sabotage menu, and what it looks like, you only get to the imposter. And say if you're really angry at the team, because they all just voted you off, then you can sabotage, uh, sabotage anything. So, for example, electrical and communications aren't really the best uh, things to do. Because that just stops you from doing the task and seeing cams. That just gets rid of people's vision. So there's uh, not really much to do with these, but in O2 and reactor, that means that you're going to die if you don't do it. So and they require two people. So then if you go and uh, sabotage O2, I'd recommend doing that one because that that requires more effort because you've got to you know type in the code. Then reactor yourself put your hand on it. Basically, uh, then yeah, then you can win just to, by doing the sabotage if the whole server's AFK like mine. Um, in every single game, 
red is always sus. So make sure to call me in at the start of every game and say red is sus. Um, he's always sus. Yeah, because it, like, yeah, yeah. Red's always sus. No matter what happens, red's always sus. So make sure to vote for red every game. So, yeah, and this was just a joke, by the way, because it's most likely going to get voted off. All the people on the server are idiots, like this. <laughs> and they listen to me. <laughs> Why? So another tip is not to listen to people who say red is sus at the start of the game. Uh, and I've got to say, I, I've never laughed more in my life because. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. That was a pretty much joke, but yeah, is the real tip is to never listen to people who say red is sus at the start of the game and they've got no brief all. Right, so it saves somebody blames another person saying it's yellow and then yellow afterwards says it's white, then it's obviously them because they're just blaming random people. So yeah, all sign wasn't watching, they seem really sus so I'm pretty sure it's yellow. Because as you can see by the thing to type in. Um, yeah, and another thing, they said it's white, and white's dead, so I'm pretty sure that uh, yells the imposter, they messed up there, never kill in front of someone, there's another tip. Also another thing, if someone's saying that they're a celebrity or a YouTuber, then uh, you shouldn't really fully believe them, and don't vote them off either. And I mean, if you want to be in the video, uh, shout out your own YouTube channel in there. That's a good thing to do. Then look on that YouTuber's next video, see if you're in it. And if you're not, then you know it's a fake, but it's always worth a try to get free shout out, eh? Well, I've got to say is thanks for watching what was supposed to be 25 tips for Among Us, but when I added all the clips together, it's actually 37 tips for Among Us. So I was going to say let's do it to 40, but you know what? I was like, you know what? It's different when you random this, so. It's now 37 tips for Among Us, and if you watched all the way through, thank you, and comment, um, watch the comment, comment 37, if you watched all the way through, so I know who watches my videos fully, and whoever does will get a shout out in the next video, on my main channel, which is much bigger than this, yeah, I'd be appreciated if you subscribed, and yeah, see ya in the next video, uh, yeah, thanks for 37 tips on Among Us.